So hello again, and I'm here with another example of velocity analysis for uh, these uh, linkage problems uh, using the IC method, the instantaneous center of zero velocity method. So here we are given, uh, let's say this link, I'm gonna call this actually point O, link OA, given omega of OA to be three radians per second at this instant, right? Let's say we want to find, at the instant shown, we want to find omega of link AB a, B, and omega of link, uh, for lack of any other word, call it D. Uh, lack of any other letter, rather, we call it D. So we want to find omega of these two links at this instant. And we want to use the IC method. So since we know this link AB, the middle link, is in... Uh, combination of translation and rotation because you could see that link OA is rotating clockwise and this guy is going to also rotate clockwise. We'll see in a minute why. So they are in pure rotation. So that leaves link AB to be in uh, combination of translation and rotation. So you guys know based on the videos that you've seen earlier that in order to find instantaneous center of any bodies in uh, combination of translation and rotation, we need velocity of two points. So velocity of A can be determined easily by uh, just drawing perpendicular to this link, and that velocity of A actually is equal to R omega. R is two meters, as you could see. That's link of uh, the length of link OA, and then omega is three, so that becomes six, rate, uh, six uh, meters rather per second. And then velocity of B has to be also 90 degrees to this link BD. So that makes it horizontal. Uh, so now, if we draw perpendicular lines to velocity of A at A, that actually becomes the extension of this link OA. And perpendicular to velocity of B at B just becomes this vertical line like this. And the point of intersection becomes C. I'll make that the pivot point. And remember, in other videos I showed you, you could think of this as a triangular plate a, B, C, as if it's pinned at C and velocity of C by the definition of instantaneous center would be zero. And then uh, it is in pure rotation about C. So now we could go ahead and figure out all these dimensions that we need very easily. If we find the distance from C to A and from C to B, then we're pretty much done. So having, the, having uh, this side being three, and this angle we know is 60 degrees, because this angle is 60, right? Uh, therefore, this would be 3 divided by cosine 60. 3 divided by cosine 60 becomes 6. And then by just uh, Pythagoras theorem, the length of CB becomes the square root of 36 minus uh, 9, right? And that's 27. The square root of 27 is 5.196. And then once we have all these dimensions, and by the way, this one is easy to determine from the fact that we have a two meters here, that the length of OA, this becomes two sine 60, that's 1.732 meters. Okay, let's go ahead and do our uh, calculations. So we already know velocity of A is six, but if you wanted to find velocity of A, that would be what? That would be R omega, based on the instantaneous center, R is C to A times omega of link AB. So therefore, if velocity of A is 6 and CA is also 6, right, omega AB must be equal to 1. So here we go. Easily found omega of AB, 1 radians per second. And we can see clearly that's going clockwise based on the direction of the velocity of A and B. Having determined omega AB, uh, then we can go ahead and find velocity of B at this instant. Velocity of B would be what? Would be CB times... Omega AB, CB is 5.196, omega is one, so velocity of B must be 5.196 meters per second. And now we could say, okay, look, this link uh, BD has velocity of B like this, so that makes it rotate clockwise as I showed you earlier. So what would be omega of this link BD? So since velocity of B is 5.196, and this length is 1.732, 
based on the fact that velocity is r omega therefore omega of bd would be velocity over r velocity is 5.196 divided by 1.732 this comes out to be 3 radians per second just like omega of oa so 3 radians per second so you see instantaneous center and this is going to by the way instantaneous center is a very uh, easy method to use very quick as long as you don't have any uh, problem with figuring out uh, the dimensions and using the geometry okay thanks for watching and listening uh,